Hi, I'm Lou, KA4EPS, and today I'm going to show you the FTM-10R radio that I installed on this 2010 GL1800 Goldwing. A little bit of a challenge. Um, the push-to-talk circuit didn't work as I planned. I tried to design my own circuit, and well, with limited parts here in the woods where I'm at, um, it was a little just too much trouble, so I ended up getting a device that's already designed to work with the Goldwing. It's made by Cell Tech Enterprises, I believe is the name of the company, and it's a push to talk adapter. So I picked up this uh, Goldwing at a really, really good price. It only had 6,300 miles on it to 2010, and I uh, wanted to find a way to put an antenna on in lieu of the CB antenna. This Goldwing did not come with a CB, so I had a blank plate that went over the left side. And on my other Goldwing, I put an antenna in this area right here, but I wanted to try something different. So I got creative. I found a Chinese seller that was selling just the base. So just this base right here with a extension sticking up. I took out the extension, gutted it out, and I put an SO239 connector. Let me take this off so you can see what I mean. So I put an SO239 connector in it in, in lieu of what I had in there. Had to mill it out just a little bit, but I got it to fit and the set screws hold it in firmly. And then I uh, chose to use this NGP antenna made by Diamond. It's the SG7500. Um, it's performing very well. I'm going to sweep it later today, see how it does, but this really worked out nice. Don't have to worry about, uh, you know, doing a non-standard installation of an antenna or drilling any holes anywhere. And I put the radio inside the trunk. So it's, I put it in the compartment down here, underneath here. I have it down in here, so it fits perfectly. I had to put a right angle PL259 so it fits perfectly snugly in there. And I mounted the radio right here. Okay, and so I used a, I used a standard, um, gosh, what's the name of this mount? I can't think of what you call it right now. You guys know what I'm talking about. And I, I just bolted a screw into the rear of the head so it fits perfectly. Now I did a modification to this radio where the push to talk, I uh, ran a push to talk wire through the jack, or if you don't have a jack, you can just drill a hole, small hole in the plate, the dummy plate underneath. And the reason why I did that was so that I could put the Bluetooth module inside this head. And the value in doing that is that you have really good Bluetooth communications with your helmet. Having in the back radio offers some challenges where you start getting some crack, uh, crackling and breakup. So I put it in the head here, and in order for the audio to route through the Bluetooth on this uh, module, you have to use the push to talk on this head. So I just basically uh, paralleled uh, to the push to talk point where that switch is located in the head. And I ran it to the uh, module interface that uh, goes underneath the seat and keys up the radio. So now, <clears throat> essentially I can hit this push to talk. As you can see, it keys up the radio with no problem. I also installed, uh, oh, there it is, ram mount. I couldn't think what you call that, that ball, the ram ball mount. I installed a ram mount here for the cell phone. And then, um, as I mentioned earlier, I have a USB charger that I installed inside the uh, bike here. It actually gives you a voltage, which is nice. I don't know if you can see it or not, but. And I just kind of routed uh, a cable, a charging cable here so I can plug it into the phone, keep it charged. I got two ports, so I have the ability to charge anything else if I need to. Uh, I'm using a JM uh, audio 
um, interface that plugs directly into the gull wing into the CD port. So if I press CD, I don't have a CD player. It actually will play off a USB stick with, uh, I have nine folders or nine CDs with multiple files in it. And that works out very nicely. It also does a Bluetooth connection to your smartphone so you can play directly from your smartphone without attaching any wires, any uh, audio cables to your phone. And uh, one more thing I did, I think it's worth mentioning, is I routed the audio from the Yesu. Right now I'm listening to the local weather uh, broadcast. I routed it to the auxiliary input, which I no longer need because I'm using Bluetooth to play audio or a USB stick. So if I hit auxiliary, I can now hear loud. Lows in the lower 60s. Northeast wind up to 10 miles an hour. Coming out of the loudspeaker. So if you're, you know, want to play your two-way radio or whatever through your loudspeakers while you're on accessory mode, it comes in handy. Um, you know, if you're stopping and want to listen to a repeater, it's loud enough to be heard quite a way. So that's really about it. Um, got my butler cup installed. So I got plenty of drinking water and I'm ready to roll. So. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, see, 6470, isn't that just something? It's amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at ka4eps at gmail.com. That's Kilo Alpha 4 Echo Papa Sierra at gmail.com. Take care, 73.